guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be uh, looking at the top three maps that I could find personally for me um, in Car X. So let's go ahead and join our custom server here. Let's go ahead and hit that. And then once this loads in, we're, the first one we're going to look at, uh, I already made a video on. Well, it's the one that I was on when I made the video of I became Takumi in Car X. So first we're going to go to Akina Togue. By the way, do you like my car, guys? Look at that. I made this livery myself. I know it's nothing crazy, but yeah, I hope you guys like it. Anyways, here we are. Alright, so this map you've already probably seen, but I'll just give it a little bit of a drive here. Um, so this is a Togue from the popular Japanese car anime, Initial D. This is where basically all the races happen. Um, I loved Initial D and I love this map. It's a really fun one. And it's great for Togue races and also for drift cars. I personally like driving both drift, drift cars and grip cars, but I think it's a little bit more fun to drive cars from the show when I'm driving on this map. I don't know. It's fun for pretty much all cars, but yeah. All right, I'm just gonna give it a little bit more of a drive so this video isn't too short because it's just top three. Uh, you guys really seem to have enjoyed my last uh, uh, top three video. It was in Roblox. We were looking at the top three Roblox drifting games, and you guys uh, gave it a lot of love. It got, I believe, 200 views, maybe not 200. Um, yeah, you guys also seem to like the Dangerous Speeds Game Leaks video. So I'm trying to kind of hop on what's successful and build on that. Anyways, um, let's go ahead and take a look at the next map. To a four, and the next one we're going to load in is Drift Playground. This one you've seen me drift on before on the channel if you've watched my set of Corsa videos. I uh, drove here with my R32 in a set of Corsa before, so some of you may have already seen that. Alright, uh, this map is taking a while to load, I apologize, and my wheel is being very not happy about it. Alright, here we are. This map I love so much. I played on this map on Assetto Corsa as well, and yeah, it's just a really fun one. Also, sorry about my audio. I can't seem to get it fixed, but I will probably buy a new microphone soon. Alright, come around this way. This map is amazing for tandems, uh, personally I believe. I've drifted here with Jack Plays before. I'm not sure if I made a video on it or not, but it's very fun. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's my favorite drift map that I could think of. Um, but personally I like Akina a little bit more, just because I kind of geek out when thinking about that show. Um, anyways. They're both really, really good maps. Um, I'll do another lap, I guess, for you guys. I'm not the best drifter, but I don't think it's too bad. This map also has a lot of corners, so there's like no straightaways or build-ups, really. But it's a pretty smooth map when you have the skill. Right, left. And this way. And then I'll go right. It can't handle the power of these maps because it's very noisy right now. 
All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the last and final map. We're going to go to Fuji Drift Park. By the way, I'll have the link in the description for all of these maps if you want to download them for yourself. Go turning right. This one is also really, really good for tandems. I believe this is sort of a popular map, but I'm not sure about that. I really like it because it does have some straightaways, so you can build up some speed, and then also some really smooth corners. I like how the track is really wide, so you can either choose to go tight on your corners or very wide. Um, and then parts of it are also pretty narrow so it's a pretty good all-in-one track i love this one personally but it just didn't make it into my very favorites well technically it did it's my top three anyways we'll do probably two more laps and then i do want to show you guys maybe one more map um that i do enjoy but just didn't really make it into the video well, it did. Didn't make it into the top three. Alright. Also, I literally just figured out how to download custom maps, like, maybe two days ago. So, this is just my personal favorites out of what ones I've had installed and have been able to try. But I'm sure there are also some more out there that are way better than these ones, but I don't know. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at the last map. This one is, personally, I just like driving here with Jack a lot. We do some nice drag races here, because it's kind of like a drag map. Um, yeah, so that's a slow. Alright, here we are. Let's go ahead and line up here. So it's just a very, very long two-kilometer drag strip. Uh, it looks like this might actually be from a set of Corsa. Let's go ahead and drive, because this has Kuna Simulation or whatever. Anyways... Uh, this map, actually, I literally just noticed that this is kind of fun to drive with this car. But it's mainly for drag races, of course. I do have some nice drag cars, so I might make a video on this at some point. But it's kind of too long. Too long. Too long for me to drive this whole thing with this car. Maybe not. This car is not a drag car. I know that for sure. Ready at the end. Just fly through this barrier. And then this map does have more, a lot more actually. But uh, this part isn't really the drag strip. It starts and ends over here. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video on the top three maps, personally for me, in Car X. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe. Check out the maps for yourself, uh, they'll be in the description of the video. Um, I'll also put the design to this car in the description because it's awesome so yeah anyways guys thank you so much for watching make sure to like and subscribe and stay sideways bye